welcome all in the previous video we discussed about the process of uh, conjugation in bacteria and this video is as you can see on the screen is the based on the uh, sex duction and the sex action is actually a special case in conjugation of bacteria okay so it is nothing uh, new topic it is not a new topic but it is a special case in conjugation of bacteria I forgot to mention in the previous video that's why I made this new video on the sex duction which is probably going to be very small so in your screen I am drawing right now is uh, the donor and recipient bacteria as I removed the document of that video so I have to draw it again okay so that's the uh, process of conjugation in a nutshell so what happens is that if you don't know about the conjugation you can refer to the previous video which will be linked over here in your screen somewhere now what happens in the conjugation is that uh, there is one plasmid protein that may be the plasmid gen genetic material maybe a plasmid or R plasmid anything and it is actually uh, transferred and the bacteria some some bacteria possess this plasmid some bacteria doesn't possess so the pla pla bacteria which possess the plasmid is actually transferring its plasmid uh, by replicating it by rolling circle method of DNA replication and then transferring it to the bacteria which po doesn't possess this plasmid and this process is called the conjugation now what happens in sex duction is that there is an genetic genetic material of the bacteria also okay so there is the main genetic material that controls the activity of the uh, of the bacteria okay this plasmid is for extra features of the bacteria but the main genetic material of the bacteria which is present in all types of bacteria let's say that one also has this type of genetic material and in sex structure what happens is that this plasmid actually combines with the genetic material of the bacteria okay so what happens let's see so actually I have given some color to the plasmid uh, so that you can identify it so what happens actually is that uh, this plasmid actually creates a nick over here in the genetic material of the bacteria let me increase the size of my okay so it creates a nick over here and actually inserts itself so when it will be inserted some portion of the bacterial main bacterial genetic material will possess this plasmid and yes if the plasmid is inserted then it will be here no more and now the processes of bacterial conjugation will take place okay so what is different over here if it has inserted inside the main genetic material of the bacteria then what is the difference uh, it will conjugate itself in the same way right so what is the difference is that the during this process of conjugation during the same process of rolling circle method of DNA replication all the all those things will happen but in this process of DNA replication when the bacteria has transferred it it doesn't actually precisely transfer only the fertility plasmid or only the plasmid which uh, which needs to be transferred but in addition it may transfer some extra portion of the genetic material of the uh, main main genetic material of the F plus bacteria or the uh, plasmid processing bacteria so what will happen next is that when it is transferring I am not showing the process of transferring tra tra rolling circle method of DNA replication if you want to learn more you can refer to the previous video okay now what will happen next is that what okay so this plasmid has reached over here along with so let me enlarge this plasmid a little bit more elongate this plasmid and along with some portion of the of that bacteria's genetic material the donor bacteria's genetic material and this whole thing has been transferred to this bacteria and this is the difference this is the case special case of bacterial conjugation and when the plasmid has combined itself with the main genetic material of the bacteria it has a special name which we denoted by HFR capital H and small fr let me write this type of bacteria is called HFR bacteria which stands for high frequency recombinant recombinant this type of bacteria when it has combined its uh, plasmid with the main genetic material we call it HFR bacteria and this genetic material we call it as an epizome okay 
so what is an episome it is a main bacterial genetic material combined with the plasmid if a bacteria has the plasmid it is combined with the plasmid okay so let me write this also this is called an episome episome so episome and during the process of transformation this has transferred it it has replicated this portion let's say uh, let's say this it has replicated from here and the replication has stopped over here and then it has transferred the whole thing and this has happened okay so what happens in the um, the speciality over here is that it creates a partial diploidism in the bacteria as we all know the bacteria has only one set of chromosomes for every everything uh, like the highly developed organisms like us we possess two sets of chromosomes okay the bacteria has only one set of chromosome that's why we call them haploid but if the process of sex destruction happens then the portion of the main genetic material of the donor bacteria also comes to the recipient bacteria and that portion may be homologous or may be similar to some portion let's say over here let's say this is similar so this portion has a diploid copy has a diploid copy present in the bacteria and this bacteria has become partial diploid so this creates partial diploidism along with transferring the plasmid to the bacteria so that was all about the sex destruction process thanks for watching and the next video we will going we will be going to be to talking about the reproduction in bacteria and the bacterial endospore and all that thanks for watching bye